Aren't you sick of Louisville's gloomy, cold weather? And ready for the warmth of the Florida sunshine? We're in Destin talking spring break today and all of the things you can do in one of Louisville's favorite spring break spots. I actually come down here quite a bit. Chantel Dedeke is a Kentuckiana born Florida girl. My grandparents still live in Louisville. They live in Butchel, um, in the same little house that I like basically was raised in. She traded in her derby hat and heels for shades and sand, making one of Louisville's favorite spring break spots her permanent home. It's not hard to see why. This place is a live action postcard. You got this beautiful white sand and this gorgeous water and there's so many things to do. We hit up some of those spots that people like Chantel love. Some are known, some are not. Either way, they'll add an extra layer of quality and culture to your getaway. You did a good job. If you're here to see wildlife, Stop by the Gulf Arium on Okaloosa Island. That's the cool thing, all the different animals that we have here. This kid favorite with turtles, dolphins, birds, and lizards. Yeah, he's like a snake with legs. Yeah, yeah. He's right off the beach. Guides can tell you anything and everything your family of four ever wanted to know for around 80 bucks. Would you rather see a dolphin in its element? Jump on a boat for a two hour cruise from Southern Star. We go out into the Gulf to find the dolphins in their natural habitat. Keep your eyes peeled though as it takes you out of the harbor and into the Gulf. We have a 98% success rate with seeing the dolphins. We've got several local pods here in the area. Tickets for adults are $29.15.50 for kids. A day out on the water will have you working up an appetite. Since everything does revolve around the ocean, seafood is key to coming here. Pompano Joe's is beachside and always a fan favorite. And their grouper uh, Reuben is great here. The Golf is a new and cool open air restaurant on Okaloosa Island. It's made completely out of shipping containers. Um, there's a little over 30. Locals love it. The seafood selection, always different. Our menu changes every day. At some point during your trip, you might reach a saturation point when it comes to fish on your plate. If so, get decked out in green and go to McGuire's. It's a great place for an experience. The Irish red beer always goes down smooth, not that I know or anything, and the steak is money. Speaking of, George Washington is in charge of the decor. We have $1.5 million hanging from the ceiling. Walls, pillars, and the bar are covered in money, too. A day trip in the middle of your road trip always breaks up some beach time once you get a little waterlogged and sunburned. Our suggestion? It's just a nice place to visit. A town movie buffs will recognize on site. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. The setting of Jim Carrey's The Truman Show, Seaside. I'm very impressed. All these uh, neat houses and all these little places to eat. In addition to visiting the house made famous in film, you can catch a concert in the town square and the food truck scene is on point. <laughs> How many places around here are you going to find grilled cheese on the sidewalk? <laughs> the perfect end to a perfect trip is going to bring you back to Destin. Noriego Point is the place to grab that sunset pic for Instagram. Hashtag no filter needed. This alone is never going to get old and it makes it hard to come home. There really isn't a whole lot not to love about. About Destin. Explains why so many make the coast a must every year and why Louisville native Chantel Dedeke decided to stay.